All right, here we go with the second crack, how to take down, clean, and reassemble Marlin 39A. Um, not even going to waste your time with the safety check. This gun is been checked, it's unloaded, safe. Uh, the way you want to start this process, safety on, hammer, doesn't matter if it's, if it's back or up going to need two tools, both of which are flathead screwdrivers. One fine one, one you know regular size, and I'm going to start with the gun on uh, the left side if you're going to be holding it. I'm going to start with the gun on the left side, it's going to expose this big screw. What we want to do is loosen this. And once you get it started, you can just keep going with your fingers until you feel it and you feel it get out and then it's nice and wobbly. You, you can see it right like that. And when it's at that point, you don't want to keep screwing it out. I'm not entirely sure why, but the uh, the owner's manual in capital letters says do not continue to screw that out. So uh, I don't. Once it's nice and wobbly, you take the gun and still holding it so uh, the left side is down. You want to hit the left side of the barrel on something hard. In this case, I'm using the table. It's got a white towel over it. You're going to put something soft down so you, A, don't ruin the table, B, don't ruin the gun. But uh, let me see if I can give you this view here. You just kind of hit it on the left side and it comes apart into pieces like that. So this is what we're working with now. This part, the back, um, I don't spend too much time cleaning. It doesn't get gunked up with too much uh, too much black powder from when we're shooting. So I just get in there with a Q-tip, a little Hoppies number 9, and uh, clean that up, oil it up, and good to go. This part here is where the trouble gets. Um, Obviously, up here is where the uh, the shell is fired. It gets caked with uh, all kinds of gunk in here from the black powder. Um, if you get a little too much oil in there, then you, you get this nice sludge. It's uh, it's kind of a mess. So this is the important part. You've got to take this out. The next step, once we get it into two pieces, is this the bolt here will slide out. And you just kind of take it and you push it in with your thumb. You just push it back like that. And you'll push it, it'll hit a stop there. You can't push it that way anymore. When it hits that, you just pick it up. It comes right out. So, there we go. I'm going to put that right over there. This is going to be filthy. You're going to want to clean this up all over. Uh, right here, it's got the last three digits of the uh, gun serial number engraved. Um, it's going to be filthy. I'm going to want to clean that up. I'll set that aside for now. Now, this in here, also going to be filthy. Here's the barrel right here. This is the ejector. We want to clean that, but in order to do so, the ejector can't be sticking up the way it is. So we have to push it down. And the way to do that, it's really... Uh, it's really pretty easy. What what you have to do, let me see if I can zoom in on this. Alright, that, that's focusing pretty good. What you have to do, this is where you need two screwdrivers, is with the big screwdriver, you have to push that down. So, it's hard doing this from this angle. Push it down. So it's in there. I know there's no way you can see this, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. <clears throat> there are... Okay, let me just talk to it now that I got it at this point. Okay, good deal. There's a screw right here that's slotted. This is the ejector. 
well, the screws, of course it's slotted. You gotta put the screwdriver in. This is where you need the little screwdriver. The big screwdriver holds the ejector down. The little screwdriver has to turn this screw over to hold the ejector down. You'll see what happens if I undo it. Boom, the ejector pops right back up. So what you have to do is you have to push this down with the big screwdriver. And then while you're holding that down, the screw gets twisted over to keep that down. So, uh, and then after you do that, I'm not even going to bother putting that down. I'm not, also not cleaning the gun. This video, this gun is clean, but uh, you can see the hole from the barrel right up at the right up at the top there. Um, you want to clean down the barrel towards the muzzle, and it's going to be loaded with black powder all up in here. You want to clean this up. Uh, really, not a lot of moving parts. You don't need a lot of oil in here, and when that's sufficiently clean, I'm gonna go ahead and put the gun back together. So. I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm going to move the screwdriver out of the way. We won't need that until right at the end. Now, we have the bolt, and it's got this round part here up on the front, and it's pointy out up on the back. It's kind of angled down. Um, you, see, there you can see how that's nice and round up there, and then out towards the back it's pointy. The round part goes faces the front, and you can see it's round here and it slides right in there. So you remember we put pushed it back to a stop, we gotta put it right back in there. And then just it's that simple. You slide it in. Now also you have to kind of push down like that in while you're sliding it because of the ejector's gonna try to push it out, you know, this way. So you just kinda of hold it in and then Boom, you get it in, right like that. So now, the last part is putting this back on top, like so. Now, you can see this right here it has a, I don't, I don't know if you can see, yeah, that's a good view. It's got a lip on it right there. Now that lip has to fit in and under here. So that's exactly what you do. Take it, goes right like that. You fit it right in and under. And then you just put it down nice and gentle like that. And you don't have to, uh, <clears throat> you definitely do not have to force this. Um, the screw, when you tighten it, it's going to pull the gun back together. It can be off by like even that much the screw will pull the gun back together. So you don't want to force anything. When you're working with a gun, you never force anything. If it's not going easy, you did something wrong. So once it gets back to that point, you just find the hole, you thread it back in. Now that that's started, you can see uh, this gun's well, it's aligned pretty well, but you can still see all this daylight in here. And uh, it's not even, you can see the angle there, it's not close. Well. It's close, but it's not perfect. You get that in, just torque it down. And you'll know. You can feel it tighten and then it'll get easy again when the gun kind of pops into place and then you gotta torque it up. And you'll know when uh when it can't go anymore. But that's it. Piece of cake. So uh get it back together, torque that down, work the action a couple of times, trigger, everything's fine safety. That's it. Piece of cake. Three parts. How to take down and reassemble the Marlin 39A. Uh, I hope this is a little better than the first one, a little more coherent, I'm trying to get better. If you have any questions, leave me, leave me a message. I'll try to help you out. That's all. Until my next video. We'll catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching.